It is a little bit of a rainy day today. A little bit of a rainy Monday. Uh, but it is it is gorgeous outside. I I for one, I love rain. Rain is I love rain. Love rainy weather. Absolutely adore it. Um, did you know? Oops, oops, whoops. Did you know? Uh, that the the smell of wet earth is called has a name. Like the like the earthy like the earthy smell that you get when it rains. It has a name. It's called petrichor. P E T R I C H O R. And it is it's wonderful. Wow. <laughs> I I have I have so much going on right now. The first thing is that I've actually extended. You can't quite tell, but I have extended the green screen just a ever ever so slightly, just a little bit. Um. Oh my goodness, though. So it has been. It's been three weeks since I have streamed any dead cells. And there's uh there's very good reason for this though. I, I promise. I still I still like dead cells. I'm still going to be streaming dead cells. Yeah, it's been a long time. But I do have a very good reason. So the first week that I didn't stream dead cells. Um, my sister was, my sister was in town. My sister lives in Delaware, and she was in town for a baby shower. And, uh, she only lives in Delaware, so it's not like I never see her, but I'm always, I will always take the opportunity to go, to go see my family. It's... You know, we we were we were brought up on that. Family is family is very important to me. So that's what the first week was. The second week was oh, I I, I was I was struggling to remember what it was. It was my birthday. So last week, or no, not last week. Two weeks ago, I didn't stream because it was my birthday and my family. Um, was all was all together for for my birthday, and then last week I had just had a terrible day. Oh, whoops! And I felt like I felt like garbage, and I just did not feel like streaming. Like I I was physically sick. I didn't I didn't like throw up or anything, but I I had like a headache, and I just didn't feel like doing. I just didn't feel like doing anything. <laughs> um. Ugh. I mean, I guess I need these. I'm so confused on, to where, on where as to put all this stuff. So that's why there's been... Yeah. Um, so that's why there's been no dead cells. Hopefully... Unless something else decides to come up, there would be there would be there will be blech, there will be dead cells this week, um. Hopefully, because I love and miss dead cells. Um, that's not even everything that's been like going on. So, <laughs> so last week, this is this is story time. This is story time. So last week. It is 4.30 in the morning. It is 4.30 in the morning. 4.30. I had, I had just, like, randomly woken up. You know how sometimes, like, you just randomly wake up in the middle of the night and you, like... Right, row. And you just, like, roll over and you, like, check the time and it's, you know, whatever. It's, like, 2 a.m. What, whatever. Um, 
So that happened. I just, you know, just randomly woke up in the middle of the night. I didn't need to like go to the bathroom or anything. Like nothing, nothing woke me up. So stick that there. And then this isn't quite ready for harvesting, but I can take a few of these melons. So I roll over, I check my phone. It's like 4.30 in the morning, so I'm just like, oh, that's good to know. So I roll back over to go to sleep, and I just hear like this really loud pop. So I look out, and I'm just like, what, what's going on? And then I notice uh, the, way that my, the way that my apartment is set up, my, I should get stared. Oh, crap. Yo, what was that? Oh, it's a phantom. So the way that my apartment is set up is my neighbors have a light, have like an outside porch light that actually shines in through my, through my bedroom window. And it's really not that big of a deal. It's not, it's not that bright or anything. I have blinds. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but I did notice that like after that pop, it was shut off. And I was like, oh, I guess the light blew or something. So then, uh, I need this stuff because I need to move all these blocks. So then it turns back on and I'm like, oh, I don't, that's weird. I don't, I don't know what, what's going on. Then I see it get brighter and brighter and brighter until it, like, really pops. Like, it, I hear it, like, practically explode. And then I hear the, like, small space heater that I have sitting in my room. Because the, because the heat circulation in my, in my apartment is not, like, 100% ideal. So I hear the tiny heater that I have, uh, turn off. And I'm like, oh, I guess it must have blown, it must have blown something. Then, the only thing that I see in my apartment is just red and blue alternating. The entire way through my apartment. From the very back of my apartment, the whole way up to the front. <clears throat> so I'm like, okay. Let's let's quickly go down like the the panic um the the panic checklist. I don't see any orange or yellow. I don't smell any smoke and I don't feel any heat. And I don't see anything outside. So it's not a fire. So all I see is like a so I go to like to the very front of my apartment, which is like this way, and I look out the window, and there's like five cop cars outside, and I'm just like, what in the world is going on? So I put on my slippers, you know, I get ready to do some some investigating. Can I like put these over top? So I get ready to do some investigating. And do I still have access to all of these, though? Okay. Yeah, okay. Awesome. That, yeah, that works. That works great. So, there's like five or six cop cars. I put on, like, a sweatshirt, and I go outside to, like, find out what in the world is going on. And this is materials. And I walk outside... And there is a truck, an 18-wheeler that is... I live, like, almost on the corner of... <clears throat> I live, like, almost on the corner of the block. So I can, like, kind of see around. There is an 18-wheeler almost, like, up over the, the curb smashed into the side of the electric pole that sits out here on the corner. And when I say smashed, it's like, like through. Splinters everywhere. Like it's hanging on only by the wires that are suspended up in the air. So I'm looking at this and I'm just like, okay. So I don't have power because of this stupid driver that couldn't make this turn. And even, and even just, like, looking at 
what this driver was doing. I can tell what was going on, which is like when you drive. Sir, I need you to move. Can you can you come here for me? I just so upset about it. So when you when you're a truck when you're a driver right an 18 wheeler driver and you can see it if you like you pay attention whenever they go to turn they always have to come this way and then swing wide so that the trailer follows them like around the turn and it doesn't go through it well i could very obviously tell by like the placement of this truck that this driver didn't bother to swing around. They just, like, cut right and just smashed into the side of this stupid pole. And I was without power until, like, 8.15 in the morning. After I had already gone to work. But. Ugh. Yeah, I, I did not sleep good for the rest of that night. So I need a place for all of this stuff. All of this decorative sort of stuff. Because this is all like, dec this is all decorative. So I need a place to put all of it. I don't have any more. I am also glad that I didn't explode. Okay. But yeah, that I really didn't sleep good cuz there were so many cop cars. And I and I was up in like 3 hours anyway, so I think like half of my body was like, "Hey, hey, it's time to go to work." I was I was tired and I was grumpy all day on Friday. It was awful. It was so terrible. I still don't know where I'm putting these stupid... Ah! Yeah, I I was very unhappy. Because, like... Because, like, in my mind... Exactly how terrible do you need to be at driving a truck that someone who has literally no experience driving a truck can point at it and tell you what you did wrong how bad at it do you have to be for that to happen ah go away get 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 out my house zombies aren't allowed what happened i heard something break Okay. Oh, so this doesn't actually do anything. It's just decorative, I guess. I would never be able to drive those, so at least he's trying. Listen, I also would not be able to drive it. But at the same time... I I need I need you to be responsible about it. Ah. Yeah, big big trucks are scary to drive. I had I had a job. Um I used to do mold. I used to do mold remediation. And, oh, right. <laughs> I moved, I moved everything. I guess I can put the walls in here. Oh. Construction, equipment, items, nature. I can barely drive my little car. I mean... Driving, driving is hard sometimes. But still, like, 
I don't drive a truck, and even I know that you gotta you gotta swing wide with those suckers. Uh. Uh, right here. Uh, give me two. So one for here, one for here. You're more familiar truck with the average person, though. To be fair, I'm more familiar, but that doesn't mean I know how to drive one. <laughs> oh, I guess I should. I guess I should just make like a little chest. Put all this stuff in. Oh, right, a gr the grindstone. I forgot about that part. I'm more familiar with it. That doesn't mean I know how to drive one. It was like, it's like, um, um, I saw, I seen this TikTok. I keep saying that too. I keep saying, I keep saying I seen instead of I saw this TikTok. I don't know why. But I seen this TikTok. Um, and it was Hey yo, is that a pig? Hey yo, that's a pig. Cool. Um, it was this lady that was like at her at her She was telling like this story about her about her job at an aquarium. At like a pet store, I guess, or like an aquarium an aquarium specialist place something like that so she was talking about this guy that came in and he was like so i bought these clownfish from you guys and they really didn't last that long before they all died and so she was like oh i'm i'm sorry well let's let's see if we can figure out what what happened did you you know, did you do this? Did you do that? And he's like, yeah, I did. I did all that, all that kind of stuff. So eventually she's just like, um, do you, do you think that it could have been, it could have been the salt that you, the salt that you used? So the guy was like, no, I, I don't think it could have been that. Cause I mean, I just, I just use table salt and the lady is just like, what? And he just goes, table salt i just use i just use salt and she's like sir are you not aware that you need to use like ocean salt and special salt for your salt water fish and he just was like no so this guy spent a lot of money on clownfish because clownfish are not cheap just to just to put them in just to put them in table salt and have them and have them die so i commented on it and i was like i don't even know i don't even know the first thing about a salt water tank except for that like one thing like i don't know anything about salt water tanks but even i know that you're not supposed to put table salt in a salt water tank I don't I don't own any saltwater tanks. All the tanks that I have are are freshwater because saltwater is a pain in the butt. My uncle has a saltwater tank and it has caused him nothing but problems. They are really cute, but they're very expensive. They're so expensive. I've learned to never be amazed by the way people interpret things. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have learned to never be amazed by the way people interpret things are common sense. It's too exhausting. <sighs> well, in in the pet trade, sometimes it's more just like, what what are you doing, you stupid idiot? Because any anyone with any amount of common sense, it doesn't matter how much, Anyone with any amount of common sense knows that you need to do your research on an animal that you're planning on buying and taking care of 
before you actually buy it and set stuff up for it. So, for instance, I was once um, at a reptile show. Or in the, and there was actually one, like, two days ago. I didn't go. But I was there a while ago. And I was talking with one of the vendors about um, Deathstalker scorpions. And Deathstalker scorpions are one of, if not the most venomous scorpion in the entire world. They are very dangerous. And they can and will kill you. And I had wanted one for a good while. So I was asking him questions about it. And I was just like, that looks like a really big one. I didn't, I didn't really know that they got that big. So we were talking about him. And eventually he was like, are you thinking about getting a Deathstalker? And I'm like, yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably pick one up today. Cause I've been thinking about it for a while. And, um, you know, like I, I, like I done, I done my research and all, all that kind of stuff. And he goes, that's a good thing that you done your research about him. People come around here asking too many questions about Deathstalkers. I just tell them they don't need one. And I laugh because I thought it was funny. Because anybody that comes up to a stand and asks that many questions about an incredibly dangerous animal does not need to own it. So what am I what am I looking at here? This is some kind of cavern. Oh no, really? How about, how about you say something else that's really obvious? This guy. Can I? <gasps> Look at that! Ah! Oh, there he is. Stop it! Come here, you! Oh, there's two of them! Yeah, that's right! There's the zombie. Nuts! Crap! So, like, do I explore the cave, or do I just keep going straight? You know what? I'll just keep going straight. There are a ton of caves that I can explore. So maybe I should be exploring them, actually. Because I really need to find some diamonds. Diamonds would be very, very nice. I... I want to see the diamonds. I remember there is this really, really funny video where there's this guy and his friend that don't know how to play minecraft they're playing minecraft together so <sighs> i was gonna explain it and then i was like is the only thing that i do on my stream just telling people about other memes instead of making my own i don't know Sometimes I, sometimes, sometimes I question, I question the quality of my content. But I also know that, like, I'm, I'm not always the person to, to come up with something out of the blue. I, I work better, I work better in, like, the, like, the comedy spectrum when I have something to like go off of. That's that's when I do my best work. 
So I've always just like quietly said to myself, I've always just been like, it's oh, it's okay, because like once you get more people in the stream, that's more people to to comment on stuff that's going on. You know what? I'm just gonna make three. Seems reasonable. Oh, excuse me. Uh, melons, I guess. Good to share memes too, makes it relatable. Maybe. Heh, <laughs> melons. Should I like remove one, one of these blocks up here? There's another cave I can explore. The only cave I care about exploring is one with diamonds in it. You know what? I'm gonna dig out this chunk and then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go explore in this cave. Because I need to find diamonds. I have a feeling I might be closer than I think. I need diamonds so that I can get obsidian, so then I can get to the nether, so then I can get other stuff, and then I can go uh, beat up the ender dragon. I don't know what I'm going to do after that. I'm glad you feel hopeful. That makes one of us. So is this just all... <gasps> it's all dripstone. Okay. So, with pointed dripstone, does it only hang from... Oh, it'll also drop if I just smack it with my hand. Oh. Oh, okay. That's kind of helpful. down this way first. But like where What are the gold looking ones? Um gold. Quite quite literally it is just gold. Get a, let's get a torch. There's some kind of path over this way. <gasps> what is that? <gasps> is that what I think it is?
No, it isn't. Okay, never mind. I'll come back to that. Man, this goes like up and around and all kinds of... Goodness gracious, I don't even know where to... Wow, I hate cave exploration. I hate that, never mind. I hate exploring caves because they are so big and you can never keep track of where you're going or what you're doing. So they are annoying to me. Yes, it is very disorienting. I am an easily confused person. Do we think that I only need one, one row of torches? I would like, I would like to cut back on the, on the torches, I think. How bad is this, though? Hmm. I have to figure out some better method of doing these torches. Because that's so many torches. Like, like they're a renewable resource, but I still feel like that's so many. It feels unnecessary. I could space them out. The only reason why, like, I didn't is because I hate having to, I hate having to count where all of them are. And now there's going to be a bunch of monsters that fill in the caverns. Okay, so, like, this, two, one, two, three, four, five, six... Yep. I knew I'd get monsters. Come here, sucker! <gasps> I hear it. I hear it squishing around. Oh no, I am I am counting. I am counting. If you look, if you look very carefully on the end, there's a difference. You can see it when it becomes, when it goes from light down to like total darkness.
I do like darkness, but it makes it awful hard to see what I, what the heck I'm doing. I feel like I should make a minecart or something. See, but now I have, like, these spots of darkness where monsters can actually spawn. And I don't like that. <gasps> there it is! Come here, you! Yes! Yeah, mine, mine cards are very helpful. They require so much material, though. Very important material, too. Oh, also, I did look it up. <gasps> There's a big one! Come here, sucker! Yes! Give me your flesh. Doo -doo -doo. So like, if I do that, then I've got this spot in the middle. But if I do that, then it's uneven. I can tell this is uneven. That's why I did that, like, that's why I did it like every other one. <sighs> I don't know what I want. I definitely want to lessen the amount of... Actually, wait, hold on. I'll just do every three. Ah! Oh, it's a baby! Oh, come here! Yes. Die by my sword, you foul creatures! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the baby, the baby zombies are super fast. So then if I start this one up here... Yeah, that's good. So see, it's practically the same thing. It just... It's practically the same thing because, you know, every other one. <gasps> that's a big one! Yes! Give me your flesh! Ha! I have 20 slime balls. Holy heck. That's a lot of slime balls. Oh yeah, the slimes. Oh yeah, they're cute too.
And now I can make sticky pistons. Yes. You can do so many things with sticky pistons, too. Ah! <laughs> there remind me a lot of gelatinous cubes, actually. Oh my goodness! Speaking of Dungeons and Dragons, <gasps> there's another one! Come here, sucker. That's another really big one, too. Holy heck. Twenty nine. Twenty nine slime balls. That's so good. That is so good. Yeah, yeah, I know you're out there. Fat lot of good that did ya. Alright. Holy crap! Okay. I guess this is the... I guess this is the slime ball episode. Look at them all! I have 46. They sound ridiculous. They sound cute. They're cute. They'll kill you, but they're cute. Oh my goodness, I got distracted. So speaking of Dungeons and Dragons, I found, so the boys and I are making a podcast. I've already said that before, um, but boys and I are making a podcast. As soon as I finish um, this current adventure that I'm working on, then we're gonna, then we're gonna start, we're gonna start recording and everything. And then it will be available to the masses and it's gonna be... It's going to be a, so much fun to put together. I'm really excited to be to be making content with um, a bunch of my a bunch of my really good friends. Oops. So, um, one of the things that I want for the podcast are sound effects, and. I was going to make my own until I realized that, like, I don't just want sound effects. I also want, um, music. Oh, that's the third one. Okay. So then I was like, well, I don't, I don't want to, like, um, do, I don't want to do all of that. And then also still need music. I'd rather, I'd rather just, like find a service or or somewhere online that I can that I can use and it's just got everything so I had an idea for what I wanted to use I was going to use um this program called Sirenscape which is um literally just sounds for Dungeons and Dragons that's like that's what they advertise themselves as it's it's just sounds for your for your campaigns and they do they do music scores and all all that kind of stuff too. Oh, I thought there was like a zombie back here or something. I know there's got to be a zombie somewhere. I hoid him. There's a creeper. Come here, you. With the dripstone, really?
upstairs, the zombie. He's somewhere. So I was going to use this program called Sirenscape because they they let you use their um, music and their sounds and stuff in your content as long as you just tell people where it came from. Like in our podcast, we would have to say um, all the sound effects and music is done by Sirenscape. Um, which isn't a big deal, but I was kind of listening to some of it and I was like, this kind of has like, it's kind of got a little bit of a difficult user interface. Um, I'm not entirely sure about like a lot of the musical scores. And then I was scrolling through Facebook on Saturday, um, with the boys and there came up an ad for this thing called Monument and it is... Um, music and sound effects for, like, fantasy stuff, whether you're doing, like, D&D or any kind of, like, other tabletop role-playing game, Pathfinder, stuff like that. So I kind of looked into it, and, um, the boys were, like, also kind of checking it out, too. And we noticed that it was on sale from like a hundred something dollars for like thirty dollars so i looked into it and i was like if i buy this do i can i use it in my content so i looked in the i looked in the frequently asked questions and they're like yeah you can use this in your content because when you purchase it you also purchase the rights to use it for that kind of stuff and i cannot tell you how fast i clicked the checkout button on that and so um, for, like, the next 20 minutes or so, um, the boys and I were listening to, like, all of these cool sound effects and these, like, sweet music scores and all kinds of stuff, and we're, yeah, we're very excited about it. Me more than them, because having, having, like, the audio files is gonna make it way, way easier for, um for for editing and they sound really good they're they're professionally made they're they're so good so i'm really excited to to use those they also had another pack that was on sale and it was sort of the same thing but it was their second it was like their second compilation of stuff and it was like $60 and I kind of, I kind of wanted to buy both. I really did. I really wanted to buy both and just be like, I now have the greatest fantasy library that we could possibly want for our D and D podcast. Um, but also, I was like, ah, like ninety dollars is a lot. So, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to go back and look at it, and it's going to be like $112. Because the other one was on sale, too. It was like $150. But it was on sale for like 60 And I I have an inkling that like I'll, I'll check it after stream or something. And it'll be, and it'll be back to like 150. You know what? I'm gonna check it right now. Monument Studios. No. It's also, it's also actually more, it's also actually more than I thought it would be. It's $200, but it's on sale for $65. The one that I got is called uh, Fantasy Complete. And it's... It's $135, but it's on sale for $70. 
and it came it came with so much stuff to it too we were like we were like i wonder i wonder exactly i wonder exactly how much product you're actually gonna get if it's like 200 dollars and it's on sale for like 30 but it's got so much to it i think it was like uh, i think it was like almost 20 gigabytes of of sounds which is a lot because like so many of them are like super short because they're like sound effects but yeah i'm not finding anything Part of me, part of me still, part of me really wants to, like, still buy it now while it's, well, it's, like, $60. <sighs> what, it, what do you think? What do you think that I should do? And they sound so good. Like, they're not cheesy sound effects. They sound amazing. Should I buy the other pack of sounds, of sound effects and music for $65 while it's still on sale from $200? That is the question. In addition to the one I already bought. Yes. You know what? The website also said that they... Scale 1 to 10, how good do we feel about the one you have? Like, how how good do I think the music is? Or how good, how good do I feel about owning just one? The website also said that they, that they update it too. So I wonder if in buying it, I also get access to the updates. I feel I feel pretty okay about having just one because um, I did get like a fantasy like all of the typical fantasy sounds you know tavern the you know tavern swords clashing dragon that typical stuff um, and the sounds are incredible they're just so good. Wow, I just ain't gonna find diamonds, am I? Because, like, look, I've excavated this entire thing and I don't have any diamonds. What what version of Minecraft is this? Profile. Uh 
Okay, hold on. I have to... Just very quickly, just because I want to see what version of Minecraft I'm on. Whatever you want to do, I vote that one. Well, uh, 18. Diamonds. You'll need to dig down to between Y level 15 and Y level negative 63. There's a negative 63? No way. There's no way. Are you serious? Oh, that's why the... Oh, because of caves and cliffs. I'm not even the, as far down as I should be. That's why there's so much still underneath me. Is because I'm not even as far down as I can be. You know that makes a lot of sense. I'm under 15, but the closer I am to bedrock, the better it's going to be. So it's not... Okay, I'm... Okay. And I just placed all these torches, too. So, I don't necessarily want the other pack because, like, I'm unhappy with the one that I have. Or I think it's going to, like, underperform or I think it's not enough. I just want the other pack because I've already heard what they have to offer and it's very good. And their, their other work is on sale right now from $200 for 65 that's less than half of it and that's pretty good yeah i need i need to go down further i need to go down so much further that explains a lot that really does explain so much Make sure I don't leave any torches behind. Oops. And here the monsters come spawning. So let's... Barricade this off. That way no monsters can get in. And then go back up and just make as many... And just make so many ladders. So, I was talking with one of the boys and he... He's so excited to start D&D. We all are. We're all very excited to start Dungeons & Dragons. Um, the only thing is that I, as the Dungeon Master, need to have their adventure done before we start it. So that they like actually have something to play. And with the size of this campaign, it is going to take me... An incredibly long amount of time to finish it. 
It, it really is going to take me a long time to finish it. I'm working, I'm working hard on it. Like I'm really, I'm really trying. Cause I need to make it good. I need to make it good. It's gotta be a good, it's gotta be good. I guess I put this in here. I don't want to give them a crappy adventure. Ladders are in here. I'm just going to turn lots of these into sticks. Feel confident in your adventure building. I definitely do too. It's not about that. I just need to make sure that I that it's it's good. I need to make sure that I have as much planned as I possibly can. That should be good. I just need to make sure that I have as much planned as I possibly... Oh, crap, crap, crap! Whew. I didn't know it went negative. Wow. Every everything that I do gets them it gets it gets us closer to building it though. The good news is that most of, like, my my pivotal story points, I already have thought out. Like, I already know, for the most part, where they're going and what they're doing when they get there. I just need to... Ooh, lapis. I just need to, like, write it all out so I can get all the details fletched out. Because I don't do, I don't do like super amazing with improvisation, even though a lot of being a dungeon master is improvisation, but more details for me to work with is always better because it means I have, because it means, um, I don't have to improvise nearly as much. I will explore this cavern for a little bit, I think. Unless this is it. <gasps> That's redstone. I do love redstone. I can only imagine their impatience. So... Um, so one of the boys, Kimani, was saying that we should, like, start a separate adventure while we wait, and, um, I told him, I was like, I really would rather not, because my plan is, in between our large adventures for the podcast... We're going to be playing, um, like, the, the pre-made adventures that Wizards of the Coast comes out with. Like, the D&D, like, books. Okay, 
Let's see a thing. So I want to save as many of those for that purpose as I can. So he was like, alright, that makes sense. So he kind of understood that, and then one of our other friends, Jacob, is becoming increasingly impatient with it. He's like, I like we we gotta start DD now. Like, how much longer is it gonna make is it gonna take for you to to finish to finish this campaign? So I told him, I was like, I, I don't know. Like it could it could be a couple of more months until we're until we're playing. He's like, a couple of months? I thought it was going to take you like a week or something. A couple of months. And so uh, Jordan chimed in. And I was very appreciative of Jordan. And he's like, and he's like, a couple of months is actually a pretty good time frame. Do you have any idea what actually goes into creating a like entire campaign especially one that's as large as the one that i am making so he so he's like so he's like well you just have to write the adventure and he's like no 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 you have to write where you're going oops you have to write out where your player where your players are going what they're finding when they get there uh the strength of what they're fighting where that's going to lead to and you have to think about a lot of stuff so like if they if they want a lollygag doing you know b instead of a then i have to account then i have to make something up for b that way it's like prepped and ready for for if they decide to do that so it's it is so much work But I, I, I truly, I truly am trying my best. Ooh, 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 whoops. What is this? Cobbled Deep Slate. Give me... You're killing it. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. Am I going the wrong way with this? I went the wrong way. I kind of thought that I did. Now I have to stand here and break all this. And then redo it because I did it the wrong way. It's on the wrong side. The story that I have planned for the D&D &D campaign is... It's so vast and complicated. It really is. So I, I have to account for so many things. Not only that, but because of the way that I, like I have the story set up, I need them at a certain level at certain times, which means that they have to have enough adventure in certain parts of everything in order to like actually warrant them gaining like gaining a level at all so it is it is a long and very complicated process yeah that's kind of like it there we go but I'm working. I'm, I'm trying my best here. Give to me! Give it! Give it!
Fine. Keep your crummy ladder. I wonder if I'm going to run into diamonds just doing this. I also need to make sure that I'm placing these ladders very often. Eleven, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Oh, that's bedrock. Okay. We did it. We officially hit bedrock. Whoop, whoop. Now all I have to do is just find diamonds. He says casually. I mean... That is about all I need to do. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's eight. Okay, this is, this is ten blocks wide. I was gonna say, I was getting so much use. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's tough. And now I have to go the entire way back up. Wow. That is agonizingly long. Holy crap. I need to get to the nether and fast. Actually. 
Actually? Huh. You can get to the nether faster than I think. Also, should I just increase this to just be a hundred by a hundred and just dig straight down in a huge straight mine? A hundred by a hundred is a lot, though. I'm not sure I like the idea of that. Ten by ten is a lot, too. I can do ten by ten. Not the first time I've done it, though. <laughs> hmm. So, instead of digging straight down to the layer that I want, and then digging, like, forward to find what I want, instead, you just dig layer by layer down the whole way. A strip mine. You just, you just have a big old strip mine. Oh my. I just might. I'm thinking about it. I need a lot of iron for that, though. Because that's going to be a lot of pickaxes, and I'm not sure if I... I heard him. I heard an Enderman. Hmm. Well, in any case, all my melons are gone. In any case, I am more than an hour into stream, so I'm going to stop with the mining for now. Hold on. Oh, there they are. I was gonna say, where, where are the melons? some iron many pickaxes all of the pickaxes okay uh, also also lots of cobblestone yeah give me another stack of each of these Look, look, I'm using the thing. Oh, 
Aha! Okay. Heck yes, baby! Now it is time to work on this arena. All right, so what are we, so what are we thinking for this? Are we thinking the diorite or the, or the granite? I'm thinking the diorite. I'm thinking the white one. You know what? Hold, wait, I have an idea. Wait, I have an idea. Faster. Run your little Steve legs up the stairs. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Oh. Weird. Hmm. I must need smooth stone. That's a grindstone. I was going to turn it into smooth stone and then use the smooth stone to make stone blocks. Brick. Yeah, I need four stone. Oh, wait, hold on. <gasps> Look at that. Cobbled deep slate wall, deep slate tile wall, polished deep slate wall. This will definitely make it look good too. But which one do I want? Chiseled, polished. I'm thinking, I'm thinking tiles. Actually, no, I don't, I don't want tiles. I was thinking maybe I'm so big when I lean forward. I always have been. I didn't, I didn't change anything to like the green screen of the camera. Yeah. I moved the green screen closer. So I have more room this way. This is, this is my box. Excuse me. I was thinking deep slate tile. For the floor. But I already made the floor. I think brick. Yeah, just give me just give me a stack of bricks and we'll see where that goes. Ah, oh, it's night. Come on. I'm ready to work, my dude. Let's go. I guess I should also spruce up the area where I live. Right? Boing, 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 boing. 
Okay. So this will be the entrance. I can always change this later. This is why I brought a pickaxe with me. But I'm thinking maybe this for the bottom and then like deep slate the rest of the way up. With polished diorite. I can do... St oh, I need stairs. I should do stairs. How do we feel about that? Hmm. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about it. It also needs to be a dome. You. You make me things. Make me stare. <laughs> Eh, I'll just stop there. <laughs> Melons! Heal my aching body! I can't wait for when it's summer again and um i can just get a watermelon every time i go to the store
Nope. I was trying to see if there was like an arena kind of build in like this cute book that I have. But nope. There's something something that I could go off of. Hmm. Thank you. See, the trick is that, like, I can't... That's wrong. Crap! Where's the scaffolding when you need it? Actually, that's a good question. Where is the scaffolding? I need scaffolding. I'm actually really going to need scaffolding for this. I should shear those combs. Let's shear those combs. I don't have scaffolding. Hmm. Right there. Oh, whoops, whoops. All right, hold on. Let me, let me fix my hot bar. I hate when my hot bar is a mess. Fantastic. Might as well get some more melons while I'm here. So now I have some scaffolding. Very, very helpful. Also, I need to plant that bamboo. Yes, I do need to plant the bamboo. You know what? I have a crazy idea. I want to build something up here anyway. Boop. I'm going to put some kind of something up here and I'm going to get like a staircase, like a nice jungle and acacia staircase that goes, that like slopes down the side and then just comes up and right over to here. It's going to be fantastic. Ah. 
absolutely fantastic. What a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighbor. I miss him. Is he dead? Hold on. <gasps> oh, wow. <laughs> he died. He died in 2003. And I'm over here in 2022 asking, is he still alive? What in the name of everything that is holy is wrong with me? Oh my goodness. Can't believe this. He died of stomach cancer two days after my birthday in 2003 at 74 years old. Hmm. Huh. Someone didn't watch the documentary, clearly. Is there a documentary? I didn't know there was a documentary about him. I don't I don't watch I don't watch documentaries, I only watch anime. No. Oh. oh, wait. I need them down here. There's the dishwasher. Oh, no, 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 I need the tiles. years ago huh yeah i didn't know there was a documentary about him i clear i mean clearly there's a bunch of stuff that i don't know because i didn't even know he was dead i'm gonna hate this and i'm gonna want to turn these into stairs i already know it yep i hate that and i want to turn it into stairs Actually, maybe just the front face. School showed it for free. Honestly, I probably won't watch it. I'm just, I'm not a documentary person. Unless they're, unless they're like nature documentaries. But they have to specifically be about insects. And then I will sit down and I will watch the heck out of that. Give me, give me two steps. I want two.
Heck yeah, that works for me. Wow, that is convenient. And then put two more, like, over here on the sides. Gosh darn it. Give me two more. Thank you. I'm gonna die. Ha! <laughs> I just, I just looked at my, at my health bar. Just then. Frankly, that's what I get. what I get for being careless. Okay. There we go. I like that. I love scaffolding so much. Ah, no. That's not terrible. So then from here, I'll just make it a dome. <laughs> what a stamp of approval. I say not terrible about a lot of things. Huh. Oh boy. I'm fuzzy. Oh lord. I don't know why it does this. What's this do? I pressed it and nothing happened. Turn it off and back on again.
I want your Ender Pearl. Ugh. Gone without a trace. That was an Enderman. They they kind of uh, spawn into the overworld periodically. Ha! Nice shot, doofus! So the, the boss of Minecraft is the Ender Dragon. It is this giant black dragon that lives in this um, dimension called the End. And there are Endermen that uh, like leak into this world on, on occasion. And you need them because you need to kill them. You need the item that they drop, which is an ender pearl. Because with an ender pearl... Oh, I need more tile. Hold on. Because with an ender pearl, you can create an eye of ender. And an eye of ender is an item that, when you use it, it flies up into the air in the direction of an ender portal. So you need to kill the Enderman to get the Eye of Ender. Uh, I want... What did I want? Tiles? No, no, no. I want brick. You forgot about the direct part of this game? Yeah, it's... I mean, it's basically the boss. I mean, it's what I'm working up to. Like, eventually, I'm going to get so much stuff in this world that I'm going to go fight the Ender Dragon and then kill it. And then after that, I don't know. I might just start another world. But that's, I mean, that's a long ways away, so. Yikes, I'm out. Looks like I need to go get some more cobbled deep slate. You seem confident you're keeping this one long enough to do it. This world? I like this world. I'm keeping this world. The first, the first one I got bored with, the second one, what is this, my third world? In my defense, one of the worlds that I've made, I accidentally deleted. It was an accident. I liked it a lot, and I accidentally deleted it. Plus... I have bees to take care of, Elizabeth. I can't get rid of this world. I have responsibilities. Look at them. They're so fat and chubby. They need me. They need me. Wait, what did that do? Oh, oh whoops. Huh.
Yeah, y'all better turn off that smoke alarm. No, I heard a smoke alarm. And I wanted to make sure that it was going to get turned off. Instead of me sitting in here and just dying. It was an accident. I meant to hit the stream marker. But I instead hit clear chat. No more fire. Okay. What do I need? What did I come up here to do? I'm sorry, you're sad that there's no more fire? had to be erased. I'm sorry, it was an accident. I'm also glad that I'm not on fire or any of my things. I don't know what I would do. I don't know what I would do if my if my apartment caught on fire. I don't. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Because I got, I've only got a couple of minutes left in the stream. Oh, I know. Let's get some wood. Actually, wait, hold on. I have another very, look at him, he's so fat and chunky. He's so cute. I love him. I keep, I still keep forgetting to put one of those fat, like stuffed ones in my Amazon wish list. Oh, oh, speaking of buying things. Speaking of buying things, what to spend my tax refund on? My instinct is uh, very expensive Magic the Gathering cards. And also maybe D&D &D books. That's what I think. That's what I'm thinking. That would bring me a lot of joy, especially because one of the one of the decks that I'm working on, one of the decks that I'm working on is going to be all foil and all art and all alternate art. It's it's my it's my it's my special deck. It's my most powerful deck. It's my special deck. It's gonna be super cool. But some of like the really important cards that I need for it are very very expensive as like those special versions. This is why I brought scaffold. Because I hate big trees. Like I think Nah, never mind. So like I like I think um, one of the cards that I need a a mana crypt. It's like a hundred something dollars regular, and then like if you get a foil or an alternate art, it's like two hundred easy. And it's pretty important that I yeah. 
It's pretty important that I have one. <gasps> My axe broke. Yeah, but I mean, tax refund. Oops. I always I always spend my I always spend my tax refund on on expenses things. Always. I never save it. I always spend it on on things. I like things. Think. Nope, we're not done. I hate big trees. Hate them, hate them, hate them. It's nighttime, my axe broke. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I am also I'm also bopping out. It's nighttime, my axe broke. I'm ready to I'm ready to go. So Super Mario Sunshine tomorrow. I have officially decided that um, I need all 120 stars. It would be cheating if I didn't get all of them, just like Super Mario 64. So I will be playing that until I get all of the stars. And then Dead Cells on Saturday. Or not Saturday, Friday. If, if everything goes right this week and nothing, nothing happens again. Uh, so as always, thanks for hanging out and I'll see you all next time.